And the atmosphere's electric. To what stall opponent? They continue to pressure Loda in the mid lane. The toss back to the tower, looking for the big plays here from Iceberg, but still Loda has the DD rune. Mana Shield only now depleted, but dropping quickly to this. There's going to be another toss soon. He pops the DD, but he hasn't been able to heal from the bottle. Jumped up and down, and Iceberg will throw him back to the well. Loda down. CS and 6 minute rune going to spawn. They should be able to secure this so the Wiss is uh -oh. not. Uh-oh. Iceberg rushing in. It's a level 3 toss, and it should be enough for the kill on Ake. One more club. And they even snake that regen rune as well. Loda unable to assess the Im immobility of the Medusa working against them. But while that was happening, Goritz killed off solo by S4, who did not even have to expend a Sonic Wave for it. Uh, he killed... The Medusa at this uh, stage. Bulldog, he's out pretty far here. They start to get the damage flowing against him. The Queen is Plasma field up. level 3 as well. The TP may come, but Bulldog is going to bite the dust. Ake the one to rotate in. Oh. S4 stays wow, bottom. Wow. He did not actually rotate at all. Huh, that was really surprising. They're grabbing an early oh, the Magi, and they are jumping on the mid lane again. Toss back onto Loda, but snowballing forward is my nuts to try and turn this one around. Here comes the rotation. He was waiting for the opening on mid. He jumps in. Blake scream as well. Gets off the Queen of Pain ultimate, finishes off Bank Squad, now turns onto Iceberg, has the Shadow Strike for this, and it looks like CIS Reject have finally overextended a little bit, though S4 in danger of going down here has the bottle charge. Should be okay. So they, in the end, bait out the three hero rotation mid, but is rewarded with a tiny end rotation. Elusive Queen of Pain when you can just kill the creeps that won't run away, but S4, oh, he's, he's walking into this. Gory's pushing back with the cogs, threatening him if he tries to go, and his Iceberg commits. They get up the shards as well, uh, not really trapping anyone, just trying to deny some creep last hits, and now Gory's on the move, has the mango available if he wants to hook for this S4, Blinky back, dodges the stun, and now looks to commit forward, and Loda rotates in, beautiful time to pop that stone gaze, isolating to the tiny, the IO, both down, Alliance defend their stacks in force. Even Bulldog was roaming that direction, but his services not required. Save the tiny at least, if he were to able to save the tiny, yes, he would have been worth it. Relocate comes top. The double boards are waiting, Bulldog a bit slow to react here, starts to run away, S4 rotates in, but Banks were fairly tanky, already has the earn up, Inake with the side swiping ultimate, able to get the job done, they finish off the IO, but Iceberg's in pursuit, and now, stealing the Scream of Pain, a toss forward onto Bulldog, jams it in, Iceberg collecting an additional kill, now they lift back S4, the stolen Scream going to work, oh, Iceberg just laid on the Avalanche, but still committing, has the toss available, it's only a level 2 blink, there's going to be some time here before S4 can get out, but does Iceberg find him at the long glass, tracks him down, scream, toss up and down, smack with the club, and down he goes, once again, a triple kill for Iceberg, 2800 gold banked, everybody from Alliance lived to tell the tale, and now gonna TP himself home, so haven't really seen much activity from Gory to pay off here, Winter, he's... Gone for two rotations, one bottom, one towards mid, and no kills yet to show for it. The supports on CIS are just much more... They have much more, like, levels at the moment, so... Relocate top, making a move, but Ake's ready, he's in position with the chain for us. Need to be careful about how they approach this. Well, uh, they will be. No, nope, maybe not. Careful enough. They score tanks an extra unnecessary down for the chain frost. That will cost him his life. Though S4 may also pay for this. Plasma field coming in. S4 thrown away. So in the end, it ends up being a beautiful bait. Trading away just Aww. a measly IO for an extra Queen of Pain. That way ticket. That's still getting up. <laughs> One way ticket back to the well. Front row. We're going to try to engage on this though. Snowball comes out. The shards are there. Trapping Artez, and then the Cogs even further blocking up the path of the retreat. There's only one way, and that way is forward for the rejects, but with Loda here and a DD rune at his disposal, the sigil slowing them down. The and they're gonna get the kill as well. Let's see, can Gory tuck himself away? Well, they say sec, but the unpause comes. I guess the sec is over. Gory just gonna get a roared off the bat, and they, yep, they get the double kill. Good call, buddy. Now the axe is stolen only level oh, two, and the sigil even slowing. Always want to fly might down the Rubik as well. Uh oh, trying for the TP out. Is there any way to cancel this? Not doesn't look like it. They'll make it home, but still, in the end, Alliance able to collect some cleanup kills. Looked like it was going to be a nice win for CAS Rejects. Man, but this must is the highest net worth on his team after successful team fights back to back, and he's getting into the right direction though.
I think late game wise, Medusa against Tiny Medusa actually has the edge over Tiny. Because okay. Oh, how dare you try to run through the jungle? You're mine. Iceberg finishes him off. Actually, Gory sniping that kill. Maybe not ideal, but still they will engage. The snowball comes forward. Bank score about to be brought back. They have to finish him off before this relocate ends, and they will. Also hunting for the iceberg double kill, but. He just squirms away to the bottom. No blinks though with this item build against so much burst, especially against Tiny. And he's even on Agi treads when he makes that jump. Or it might have been in treads there, but it definitely wasn't strength. He has to get like DKB as fast as possible. I still jumping in with the dagger again. Uh, the boar saving the day here. Prevents Bulldog from taking the bonus toss damage. And now on the way out, Iceberg trying to retreat to the north, but he's lost his precious IO. Iceberg's gonna go down again. A lot of kills being hemorrhaged here in quick succession. Rotating in Loda additionally, and now they even chase forward. S4 able to finish off, always want to fly. But the Goritz wanted to get involved. He even committed a hook shot. He didn't get the connection. Missed again, it looks like. Yeah, he didn't get the connection there. That would have been crucial, though. Thanks for Iceberg hiding behind the tower. Now Iceberg going to show his pretty little head. There is that defensive relocate play, but oh, they need to relocate they're hunting for the IO. Alliance, no, he's the key. The hawk gets killed off the ball. They got the vision for the snowball. And now Bangs goes trapped out in the trees. Uppercut ends him. Mean, and Iceberg thing. just says, see ya. That's the same thing, I right? can't help you, my friend. You just smoke. Only one still available for purchase in the shop as they swing towards the bottom half of the map. My nuts in front. Bulldog close behind, worms his way into the trees. His smoke will break, he gets the hawk up, but this is right when Iceberg blinks in. Quicker to react is Bulldog, who roars immediately. My nuts snowballing onto absolutely nothing. Now Gorid poking and engaging. Has a blade now picked up. This may cost my nuts heavily. My nuts dropping low. My nuts will go down in the end. The plasma field clips him. Ends up cutting him off. Now the avalanche toss combo. On to Loda, well actually just the toss, the avalanche coming soon, he's out of mana here, he's actually in a lot of trouble, where's the backup for Loda, they're too busy hunting Artez, who zones the others back, now Iceberg committing forward, S4, one more auto attack would finish him, but the My Nuts turns around to try and save the day, the Blink now up on the Rubik already, it's a snowball steal, and a jump in from Always Wanna Fly, trying to get an additional kill here out of this fight, this will be a dieback on the Tusk, I do believe, indeed he did commit a buyback for that one, so CIS rejects. They get the two for three exchange with the dieback on the tusk, and they come out 800 gold. Yeah, it was a really good play, even though he, he died, but oh. that was a necessary play. They're gonna get this big prize, the ancient stacks. Oh my god, this is gonna be such a huge loss for Alliance. Oh, S4 doesn't want to give it up that easy, but Iceberg, oh, he's actually roared, he's dropping quickly, will end up falling. It's still worth it. It's still, worth it. still almost the entire stack, and yeah, Vanksquare does make it home with the TP. It's worth them, it's what you can do. But. Oh, the ward's gonna start out the movement here from Alliance. Artes very fast, very angry Artez. Look at the damage coming up from 133 bonus, 189 plus. Gets the quick kill, maybe Bulldog Gorix. Oh. No, Hawk was blocking him. Squad, Where thinking about rotating was? in. They need Gorix to make space. He's moving forward, has the double damage rune. S4 about to get cut out. He breaks it, he's off the top, hold off the bat. DKP is as well, so the Hulk does nothing. Gorix just not finding his openings, and now Loda jumps in as well. Artez going to engage here, but he's caught out in the middle of the river. Ward committed on, and will drop two. Oh, he's going to fly now the next man, and it's going to be three heroes sacrificing their own lives. Possibly a fourth. The clock drops as well, and Iceberg dropped in the pit. He has to play second, but it gets cancelled. He may die twice here. CIS rejects. They get it, Aegis. They get a rush, but was it really worth it? Blake Dagger. And he got to even jump out in time. Who's going to have the quicker reactions? It won't be Iceberg. He is melting to the tusk. And Snowball will finish him. My nuts S4 combine. And suddenly S4 is godlike. 12, wow. 2, and 10. That what was, a train wreck. That was the reaction. We're just looking to get probably some wards down. We see always want to find wanting to get some deep wards down. Uh, S4 in position here. Does jump back. And now always want to fly silence. Caught out a bit. They even relocate thanks to four, But he's already at about half HP. S4 jumping in. He sees that squishy, delicious wisp and will quickly eviscerate it. Tiny trying to turn this one around. Clobbering my nuts, but can't finish him off just yet. It's up to the Razor. Arkez gets the job done. They lost the Beastmaster and the Tusk on the other side of the fight, but that leaves a double damage load. Of Man, he's starting to rival S4, but for Loda, it's all about oh. the DD runes. The triple kill from Loda High Ground. No missed chance there. No sorry. Yeah. Gorid's next on the list. That'll be the gem. A full five-man wipe. Again, double wiped. A just blown up in the last fight. And this is this game is getting ugly. This is the power of the mother side this station. We claim the uh, ancient oh. second a lot. Are we gonna see a reverse ancient wipe? Last time this happened. Oh, no, it's just gonna be always wanna fly dying again. S4 has just been. You know, we wondered was Orchid the item. He has got. He stopped the teleport from Vanksquad or tried to get a kill here. 
Shard from Epic commits a snowball and now the double TP and his S4 engages. Nice score. Again caught out. Silent and will go down in the end. He missed his hookshot again. And Goritz, not able to cancel that TP. Oh my good thing they have any moves left available. They can't really take a hit on fight. They just have to rely on speed pushing and hopefully Clawwork's gonna land a hook shot this time around. Goritz pops his blade mill. They relocate in, trying to isolate and lock down Bulldog Glimmer Caves and kept alive by the Lich for now. They toss forward, always wanna fly, but that's into a terrible location. He'll end up going down Iceberg. Not exactly what he had in mind. Now Bang score deleted by the S4 ultimate and they rush forward, trying to finish off Iceberg before he can retreat. No more stuns available. Uh, at the very least, the tiny lives to tell the tale. It just feels a bit too late. Connects on the hook, but I'm gonna lose this tower for sure. I guess. Oh, maybe not. There's enough time for both the supports to come back online, and Alliance is just gonna back off. And so it's gonna be the AC completed on the King of Pain. Hopefully. All right, another hook from Gory. He's heating up, but is the backup for this blade now? deployed as well. They need some detection. Always want to fly. Has the sentry ward available and they will drop Bulldog down. Finally finish him off. Artez, he's going in even deeper but he tanks the walrus punch. A lot of damage. Oh, beautiful snowball punch. Able to keep the razor alive and in fighting condition. Now S4 blinking. Frantically scrambling. A wild avalanche off the mark. S4 hangs on to his massive kill streak. But okay. Well, uh, he may not be so lucky. Chain Fox is going down though. This could be bad for the rejects. They're going to snowball in again. Ake. Chain Frost always on the Honey on to always want to fly. No bounces it seems as my nuts get the retaliation kill. A two for one so far. They're really hustling for these extras and my nuts surrounded and clubbed. Will die. Three heroes for one. Artez barely surviving. That snowball man. That definitely bailed them out. Yeah, and more importantly, they lost their gem though, so it's gonna allow the CIX rejects. That's level 16 already. He's getting close to that level 3 train frost, the one minute this, cooldown. This Medusa is so tough to take down with the ice armor and the, ace, uh, uh, the assault. Oh, he's gonna fly. Zaps the hawk, but the snowball's gonna hunt him down. The sharks come out, wall mid snowball, and then punched and Iceberg tries to turn this around. They engage directly into the full complement of nukes from Alliance, and Tiny can't handle it. He's down. Io's next. It's four dead as the clockwork came in with just collateral damage. Gem dropped as well. As quickly as you think CIS rejects may have slowed down Alliance's progress, they get another essentially team wipe and will take a Roche for free on top of it. This is what Lodo's doing with his right click. I, I think this is just game though. They're gonna lose two sides of Vax here. It just feels like too many missed opportunities for CIS rejects, too many mistakes. Definitely didn't seem like a draft issue. The lanes went okay, but yeah, they're just they're just getting punished in the fight now. It's always wanna fight. Silence again, the Orchid has been his downfall this game, and again S4 delivers. 17, 2 and 18. They just keep on pressing and hunting the little ball. The little ball will fall. Next on the list, probably Artez. Roared up, can't even pop the BKB in time, and if he tries it won't matter. Gory's not going anywhere. Loda just farming heroes right outside the tier 4 towers. Iceberg being slowed down. BKBs to little avail. They've already caved in the racks. And Alliance. Potentially looking for more. Loda stands to fight. He's letting Artez deal quite a bit of damage here. Maybe some cleanup kills. Loda backing off. There's the toss. Avalanche also available, but the Glimmer Cape doing a bit of work here. Ake taking the lion's yep. share of the club damage. They really do want that gem, but at the same time, they also want the Loda kill. Loda has overstayed his welcome. He won't pop the Aegis once. Can they kill him a second time? That's going to be the question. S4 is back. He's got a BKB. He's got his ultimate available soon. Artez likely to go down here. S4 commits. Finishes him off. It was all a bait. It was all a trap. The clock can't get out. They lose two more. No buybacks on anyone. Iceberg. Just watching Alliance retreat, but the Hawk's gonna scout him out here, and now he's likely to drop too! Iceberg down! In a matter of moments, unless always wanna fly, he's got something incredible up his sleeve. Bangscore does rotate in, courtesy of the relocate, even popping the Mexican train, keep them alive, but Loda keeps on crushing his way forward, trying desperately to finish off Bangscore, will miss uphill. Might not have gotten the kill anyway, now Iceberg with the counter play, tossing, but just can't scratch the Medusa! Your armor, no match for the snake lady. And down he goes again. Four heroes fall. Loda, he's just not leaving. Neither is S4. 22 and 20 in a 40 minute game. He's been involved in 40 kills. A sensational showing from the captain of Alliance here. And I think the rejects, they've had enough, Winter. Okay. It felt like the Tiny got a really early bling dagger and CIS rejects were in contact.